Hey everyone, I got my first Portland Leather Goods bag. This is the toaster bag in the color Cognac. I actually ordered from the Almost Perfect line because there's, there's a steep discount ordering an Almost Perfect item. And it, it was my understanding that Almost Perfect just meant that the leather had more character. And I, I for one would pay more for more leather character. So I was really happy to get a pretty steep discount and get a piece of leather that was full of character. As you can see, the one that I received has gorgeous striations across the front and the back. And I think that's awesome. The more character, the better, I say. So, this color, the cognac, is actually a lot redder than I thought it would be. I knew it had a red undertone, but the piece that I received, the red, is definitely more prominent than I thought it would be. And I kind of got hung up on that, but then as I've been using it and wearing it for the last two and a half weeks since I got it, I've actually found that it, it goes really well with all of my outfits, whether I go casual or dress up and uh, I, it kind of, it just grew on me and it, it isn't the problem it was anymore. So I'm good with this color. Unfortunately, I cannot smell this because I, I don't know, I think I had COVID or something and I lost my sense of smell and taste completely, which is really inconvenient, <laughs> but um, so I don't know how this smells, unfortunately. So I chose this smooth leather because I prefer structure in my bags, in my purse that I'm carrying around all the time. I don't want their pebbly leather because it tends to be more floppy and I, I need to be able to reach in easily and get everything that I need out of it without having to fight with my bag. Uh, so, this has a non-removable strap and I actually really, really like this strap because it has the same leather on the underside of the strap as well. And this, this is like a really big deal for me because if it's smooth leather, it's gonna glide across clothes really easily. If this is unfinished on this side, I find it has a really big tendency to grip onto fabric and bunch it up and then I have to constantly readjust my shirt and all kinds of things like that. Uh, so I love that this is smooth because it's really it's really easy to wear and to maneuver around my body. I am a crossbody bag person. I have to have a crossbody and this one functions extremely well. I do love all of the brass hardware that's throughout this whole bag and the zipper, very nice. And I will say, these loops right here, there's two of them. They are the most useless things. So they are supposed to hold the extra amount of leather down, but they're so impractical. They don't know what they're doing with their lives because they kind of always, <laughs> fall down. This one's a little bit tighter, so this one stays up, but I don't like having this like that. I don't like that in bags, and uh, these don't want to hold it down for me, so they're pretty useless, and they're always like falling down to right here by the end of the day, so there's that. As far as this strap goes, I'm 5'6", I'm and I wear it on the third hole from the bottom, and I find that this hits my hip just right, I mean, everybody's body is different, so I don't know how helpful this is gonna be, but I like to wear it here because I can reach down in the bag without having to lift it up to me. I can wear it at that hole and then be able to reach all the way down to the bottom of the bag while I'm using it, and uh, that's, that's what I prefer. So this just has one full-length pocket in the front here, and it just says Portland Leather embossed there and in the front pocket I usually keep my phone <laughs> this this is a super old phone it must I think it was my husband's but he gave it to my kids so that they could film videos and stuff <laughs> uh, 
but I usually keep my phone in like that. And then on the inside, okay, on the inside, there is one pocket. And this is actually a full length pocket. It goes from one end to the other end. And it's, I, I love having this pocket. It was kind of a, a big deal for me once I started using this bag. I can't remember the dimensions of this bag, but I'll put it down in the description. Um, it's also on the website, but this is a really tiny bag and I almost thought it was too tiny, but I managed to get everything I need in here. So with this uh, pocket on the inside, what I usually do is keep my wallet in there. This is the wallet that I am using. It is a, I think it's called the Superior Labor Purse. I got this at 26 Market, but I believe Bamkuhen now carries this. The front pocket, I just have my driver's license and my most used debit card. And then on the inside, all right, it looks like this. There is a piece of leather right here and it's, it's a loop and it just separates the two sections. So what I usually do is I keep my extra debit and store cards on one side. So there we go. In this middle section, I keep all of our medical, dental cards, insurance cards, so like that. And then on this back side, I keep like other store cards and like cards that have the printer ink that we use, stuff like that, that's helpful on the go. And that's how I keep everything. And I do slip coins down in there. If I get any, I don't really use cash, but if I have cash, I fold it up and just stick it in here as well. And I love that this is really thin. This is my favorite wallet. I have used this nonstop for a whole year now, and it's held up really well, and I, I love it, love it, love it as a wallet. So anyway, this is obviously what I need access to the quickest and easiest. So this lives in this full length pocket in there. And then everything else can get kind of mixed up if they want in here, but I will always be able to open my purse and have access to that. The next thing that I have is this cute little Lindock pouch. This is in my favorite print that she has ever carried, but this is my little essentials pouch. It's like my my traveling pharmacy, if you will. Uh, I have really bare bones stuff in here. So I have my favorite lip balm. This is the Aquaphor in the solid stick. I love, love, love this stuff. I have it everywhere all over my house in every bathroom. And I buy big packs off of Amazon because I use them all the time. This is some, this is, Oh, I actually have activated charcoal capsules in here. This is what my husband and I like to use for any like digestive problems. I have this one, which is full of Tylenol. So pain reliever and then maybe some Advil in there. I need to relabel those things. I have a couple of actual Pepto-Bismol because this is what my kids prefer to use if they have a stomach upset. I have a bunch of band-aids because children and then random extra hair ties for me and the kids and that, that's everything and my little essentials pouch and uh, everything fits in perfectly. All right, that's everything back in and it's awesome. So that goes right in here. I usually put it up on its side like that. And then the next thing, I love, love, love this thing, and it is the most ridiculous item to buy for a bag, but I kind of treated myself because I knew I was downsizing and I wanted to get a couple of new things for this whole setup because I'm not a bag lady, so I don't collect bags. I'm not constantly switching bags. When I buy one, I kind of I kind of use it till I absolutely can't anymore. Uh, so I, I bought this for for this new setup, and then <laughs> a 
Look at this thing. It is so tiny. I actually do not have a superior labor engineer pouch or tote. And so this is the first uh, actual engineer one that I have and it's it's a key holder and it's just the cutest thing because it's made exactly in the same way as their bigger totes are you have the little little leather pocket right there leather straps the same stamping and the paint on the bottom and th this is a key holder so I don't know I, I always have a lot of keys I don't know how this happens but uh we have keys that go to our camper and then house keys and then our two vehicle keys are just the most ridiculous largest things ever uh so i've got one for my subaru and then one for my husband's truck and they all just fit in here perfectly and there's really no room for anything else. So when I bought this, I was kind of crossing my fingers that it would hold everything. This little nubby thing is what holds the key ring on the inside that all my keys are attached to. And this is nice because it protects all the other stuff in here from getting poked by my keys or having my keys just free flowing down at the bottom here and accidentally getting set off. Everything we have is keyless entry, so I don't actually need access to my keys. I just need them on me. So I love that this just sits in there like that. It's so cute and pretty ridiculous, but you know, I was treating myself with this whole new thing. Uh, I will say because the interior of this bag is unfinished, there is some dye transfer from the leather. I knew that going into this. I've seen all the reviews and watched all the things. And so far in the last two and a half weeks, this is all I've kind of seen. And, um, you know, I, I bought this for this, so I knew that that could happen. And it's just weird because this has been obviously sandwiched between the two um, raw pieces of leather here. And I really haven't seen any changes to the leather. And then this textile has not had any transfer either. So, so I, I don't know, it just likes this canvas, I guess. But anyway, so there's that. And then the last thing that I keep in here are my sunglasses. So uh, this fits in, it's like tapered at this end. So I kind of just put it like that. And then as you can see, I have access to my wallet and I've taken this shopping and done all the things with this bag and I've had no issues with the practicality of use. And when I wear this, I actually wear this side facing my hip. Like this side is against my hip because I just do not like open sections facing outside. It just makes me feel like that stuff is unsecured and anybody could just go in there and grab that. Uh, so I wear it like this. So this is probably going to end up getting some patina from friction on my hip rather than this outside part. And I, I just really like how simple this bag is. I love clean lines and I love this rectangular, you know, toaster shape. And I just think it's really cute and it goes with everything, whether I do dress casual or dress up for something like church. I do want to point out a couple of spots that, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to call them wear spots. So this is on the underside of the strap. All right, right here, you can see that place right there where the leather is scraped off. Uh, there's, there's like one right here. It's a little bit of a, a scrape. And it seems to me that these are areas maybe that got caught during the sewing process and I'm not sure I don't think I created those I'm not that rough uh but yeah I just wanted to point that out because I didn't notice that until you know a couple of weeks after I was using this so and then on this zipper pull I there are wear spots like there's one right there 
and then on the other side, there's pretty significant wear along the edge of this right here and then right there. And I think that might be because it hits this brass area, uh, like, you know, while it's just hanging and it's wearing on it like that. So mm, I don't know if I like that and it kind of calls into question the durability of this bag because while I'm not ridiculous uh, with the handling of my bags, I'm not precious or gentle either. So I'm kind of worrying about these areas right here that are prone to being rubbed a lot. I think these are gonna be the areas that wear the fastest. So I'm obviously gonna be using this constantly and I'll give updates as I, as I continue to use this and this bag changes. Hopefully it holds up. Hopefully it holds up better, better than that, than that piece, but we shall see. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of, of everything about this bag. And the reason I wanted to buy this bag, uh, because I said I wanted to downsize, is because the bag that I was using, which hopefully it fits in frame, is this bag. All right, I had to lift you up a little bit, but this is the bag that I was using. I actually have a really old video about this bag and I will link that below. I've been using this for, it's been, I don't know, close to 10 years. I don't know, but it's it's from England. It's by a company called Scaramanga, I guess. And I will say, I really miss having a lined interior. I just think that's a little extra and all oh, of this bag has been through so much with me. But the reason that I, I didn't wanna use this anymore is because I started getting pretty chronic shoulder and neck pain and as much as I took things out of this bag to lighten it, I found that the actual bag itself was just so heavy and that prompted my purchase. But as you can see, I have really, I've really worn in this bag. The edges are uh, completely like worn away. Yeah, the leather has just split on these edges. This is the side that touches my body. And as you can see, it's patinaed right where it's molded to my hip. And yeah, this bag has seen a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm keeping it, of course, but I am just needing to really lighten the load. But I wanted to show you the item I got four years ago now, and it has been in constant use for four whole years. This is in the color Canyon, I believe. And uh, it's, it's a laptop sleeve and it looks pretty gnarly. <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, I knew that this would be a leather that patina this way and it is something else. I don't even think Portland leather makes laptop sleeves anymore. I'm not sure, but this just fits my, I think this is like 13 and a half inch laptop and I have used this anytime we've traveled and I need to bring my laptop. Uh, I use this as a placemat and set my laptop on top of it and use it that way. And obviously I'm not precious with this. And then if you're curious about how I use my planner when I'm on the go within this bag, what I, what I actually do is I, I only bring this when necessary. I found that that's been a trend with me over the last year or so. I have a Hobonichi Weeks and I find that I've only really been bringing it if I need, if I'm going somewhere that requires me to make another appointment. So, you know, if I'm going to the dentist and then they want to schedule the next appointment, I just, I know to bring my Hobonichi Weeks with me on that outing. But... I, I haven't been carrying it out with me, even when I was in my other bag, uh, because of that like neck and shoulder pain. So if I wanted to bring it with me, I could absolutely fit it in here and it fits everything else, but it is a tight squeeze. I currently have the Mega 
version of the weeks. And I regret that. I'm not going to be doing it again next year, but this is obviously taking up more space in here than the regular weeks would. So I'm anticipating it's not going to be as tight of a fit in the future. I cannot give up my leather. I have to have my leather cover on it. I did try it with the plastic cover for several days and no, no, no thanks. So what I do when I put it in here in order to avoid the teeth, which are sharp and can scratch and catch on things, I put one end fully in and then I tilt it and get it in like that. All right, and then the rest of the stuff gets placed in here as, as good as I can. So I will put that there and then the keys go next to it like that and then the glasses uh because these are on top if i'm in the car i will take these out and throw them on the seat if i don't need to bring them in anywhere to any appointments or anything which i usually don't uh, so these get placed on top like that and then it zips up but you know <laughs> We're living on the edge. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty packed in there. And uh, the phone, which I took out, it, it still slips in here, but it gets super tight. But okay, yeah, but it'll work. <laughs> oh man. But it, it fits everything and I'm hoping it'll be a lot slimmer next year when I have the regular sized weeks we will see um this is not normally the setup i go for and then even with everything still in here i can grab my wallet really easily it's not getting lost in in the shuffle and then it goes goes back in so even when this is really packed it's still functional i'll tell you what i actually do that i find the most convenient is when I go anywhere um, and I think I need my planner or my journal and you know those other things, I will actually bring my separate journaling bag. And I made this one years, no, not years ago, a long time ago. It may have been over a year now. Uh, but I'm, I made this, I put this together. It's just a little satchel and what I do is I have my current journal and I'll stick that in there and then I'll stick my Hobonichi Weeks and then I have my current pen pouch with my fountain pens and I put that in there like that. And this is just a supplementary bag. It usually stays in my car and if I'm waiting somewhere, I'll bring it or if I'm waiting in my car because my kids are doing an activity, I will pull this out and journal, plan, whatever, whatever I feel like doing in there. All right, so that's everything. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll do an update at some point. I don't know <laughs> if, if anything significant changes with this bag and how it's holding up. I'll, I'll be sure to share. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.